Hey Aquarius, how you guys doing? I'm Witchy Tip. I'm going to bring you a reading for February 2021. See where you and your person are standing. See what you guys got going for the month ahead. I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support you have shown my channel. If it resonates, hit that like button. It sends an energetic donation out to me, okay? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when all of my future readings come out. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? If it doesn't resonate, don't force it to fit. It is general. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Some parts will resonate. Some parts won't, all right? Take what it is. Leave what doesn't. With that being said, Aquarius, let's get right into your reading. We're going to get some overall energies with these cards. We'll get the actual story when the tarot comes out. So let's see. Aquarius, February 2021, Spirit. Aquarius, February 2021. And you guys, let me know if you guys, I'm thinking about doing some singles readings um, for my people. So, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, big happy changes. That's beautiful. Then, yes, popped out with it. So, that's confirmation. And within the next few me weeks, it was right there. Big happy changes for the Aquarius coming up for February. That's absolutely beautiful. Within the next couple of weeks, there's been something you've been waiting on, something you've been expecting, something you've been wanting to come together, Aquarius, and it's coming. The time is now. February is when these big happy changes are coming. I feel like money will be coming in. Let's see about your person. Let's see about Aquarius' person, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Yeah, see, they're, they were worried about something. I feel like there might have been, there's some money issues going on within this connection. Right here we have opportunity. I feel like it could be something financial that has been causing a strain within this connection, okay? Your person is very, very worried about it. Maybe worried about their coins, worried about their money, okay? But I feel like in February, there's going to be so many opportunities, job opportunities, money opportunities, opportunities within your connection to create a higher commitment of love coming this is absolutely beautiful so spirit is trying to you know tell you you and your person don't worry things are about to start looking up come february okay let's see mutual energies for aquarius gosh damn man y'all got a lot of shit going on mutual energy Okay, so I feel like somebody's really, really praying that this situation gets better, okay? That this situation improves. There's been a, both of you guys um, have been trying to remain positive, you know, keep that good thinking, you know. I feel like somebody here is telling the other person, you know, it's going to get better. It's going to be okay. There's no need to get into this, you know, we're going to be all right. Choose a new direction and in the near future, there might be something here with a job, okay? That somebody is not happy with and they're ready to move forward and do something different. And spirit is about to bring those opportunities in for, for you guys. Let's get a mutual. See, perfect timing. Everything, this is beautiful for February. Everything is working itself out. Your spirit guides are watching over you. They're going to make sure you're okay here, okay? Um, yeah, there's nothing to worry about. This is absolutely beautiful already. Big happy changes. Perfect timing. No need to worry. Let's get one more mutual spirit. Don't stop. Don't stop. Okay? So whatever you guys are doing... You guys keep doing this, okay? Because Spirit is about to bless you abundantly, okay? Don't be arguing. Don't be in this state where, you know, you guys are, are and now this can, doesn't resonate for everybody. This is somebody's message here, okay? If, if it's something financial and it's causing some strife here, I feel like there's nothing to worry about. Everything is about to come together. Keep working together. Let's see. Let's see. Overall energy for Aquarius for February. Help. I am a I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul, okay? So I'm, you know, you might be trying to work on yourself, work on your health, you know, lose weight, gain weight, work out. For some reason I'm feeling like somebody's trying to quit smoking here, you know. And I feel like um mentally and physically, maybe your health from stressing out about this situation has caused, you know, a down spiral to your health but I feel like once everything starts coming together in February you're going to start feeling better you're going to start you know coming out of this look spirit come through freedom right there at the bottom once you once this 
come once spirit brings this together and you guys come out of this difficulty that you're going in and free yourself spirit is going to be bringing so much happiness into your connection okay there's about to be so much abundance and happiness in your connection because right under that is happiness i'm aware that being happy means that i'm on the right path right spirit's about to start blessing you this sadness whatever this this anxiety that this connection has been in it's about to change come february let's see your person's energy for february spirit ancestors and guides from my aquarius this person for february oh my gosh spirit come right the fuck through for me that's what i'm talking about look didn't I just say you're about to be a blessed with so much abundance? I feel like this person has been trying to manifest more money into their life. They have been trying to maybe get a better job, get a raise, right? And what is to say I'm a limitless being? I can manifest whatever I desire in my physical reality. Spirit is, all that worrying that they're doing, spirit is about to bring these big happy changes, Aquarius. I got goosebumps because that's so beautiful. Abundance is coming. I just said that, man. You guys have manifested this. You guys have, you know, even when you wanted. Now, there could have been some arguments and conflicts. Because when time gets hard, it's like that. But still, you supported one another. It was like, it's going to get better. It's going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come out of this. And guess what? Spirit is about to bless you. Spirit, uh, see? Bottom of the deck piece. I cannot make this shit up, man. I am a being of love. And I release all negative energy. Oh, this is beautiful Aquarius. Wow, this is so beautiful. You guys have peace, abundance, love. Your health is going to be looking good. This is so beautiful. All this worrying that this person is doing, they're about to be coming to a point of peace because Spirit's about to bless you guys with so many opportunities where it's like, you know, you guys have stayed strong in your connection regardless of what the outer physical world throws at you. And Spirit's about to bless you for that, okay? Yeah, see, I feel like this person, um, this could be your person or you. You know, whatever situation, it's caused a blow to their self-esteem, to their ego. They feel like they're not good enough, you know, um, for the other person, right? And that's why they're trying to better themselves. But you have forgiveness at the bottom. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. I feel like regardless of what, what kind of blocks and obstacles have been thrown in your path you have always forgave one another always loved one another didn't hold anything to to you know against one another and that's really really beautiful because we have denial i acknowledge my fear and i replace it with insight and awareness and then love right it's like regardless of what's going on, I still want to submit to the love that I have. We can leave this world tomorrow and we can't take none of this physical shit with us into our next into our next experience, right? Into our next physical and soul's experience. You can't take any of this shit with you. All you can take is that love and that energy that you're getting off of the other people. And that's what you're taking into your next your next lifetime, right? So, if you are arguing, okay, Aquarius, if that is has been an issue, stop. Because spirit is, a, you know, situations change. Those change, but the love, the love that you have for somebody, you cannot get that back. That's something you cannot get. And it's very rare, okay? Let's see. Let's see what spirit got. Calling in your soulmate. See this person? You guys have prayed for each other and spirit is about to bless you guys. This is beautiful. Let's see. For my Aquarius for February. This is so beautiful. I love doing readings like this because I hate, you know, like this is, I hope it stays this way when tarot comes out, okay? Let's see. Let's see. For February for my Aquarius. Let me get one, one energy. February for my Aquarius spirit. Thank you, my love. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. See? See, what did I just say? Regardless of what's going on in the outwardly matters, whatever obstacles are in the way, don't let that get in the way of this connection. This is a beautiful connection. And you really got to trust that your spirit guides have your back, okay? And that everything is going to work out. You really have to trust and have faith in this situation.
Okay, so here's where it gets a little bit juicy, okay? This person might have, your person might have had somebody else that they were dealing with, okay? Um, that might have, okay, that they don't feel anything for, okay? Somebody that didn't want to let go of them. I feel like this could be a baby mama, baby daddy, right? Somebody didn't want to let go of them. They had some kind of financial ties tied up to somebody, I feel like. That might have been draining them dry, okay? It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I feel like they're not, they do not want this other person. There is absolutely nothing there. But this person will not let go of them. Probably because of financial issues. Probably draining this person dry. And that's why they were so worried about money. But the fact of the matter is that they're releasing this they're releasing whatever this negative ass energy is and it might not even be a person it could just be the ways of thinking in the past why are they releasing all this energy to bring this peace this abundance in why because look we have this true love this is the romance of a lifetime right they know this there's no doubt in your person's mind that you're their person. So whatever's going on, as you release and heal the past, you experience more in the present moment. Spirit come through, man. I'm telling you, they're letting go of whatever the fuck. And now this could be you that has somebody that won't let go due to financial reasons. You know what I'm saying? That you're like, fuck no, I'm letting that go because I have somebody now. I have to let my past go. I've learned from that, and I want to experience all the love with my new person. And I'm right under that spirit, come through, free yourself. The time has come to take back your life. I feel like this person, is it's time that they're freeing themselves from something toxic in the past, something that they've been scared to let go of, probably due to financial issues. And they're realizing that they deserve love, that they don't need to hold on to nothing, nothing for no material reasons. Let's see mutual energies for my Aquarius and the. Oh my gosh, if that's what I think it is, spirit come through, finances and career. I'm telling you, something about money here has been causing an issue within your connection, okay? But I also feel like somebody was holding on to somebody due to finances. And it was very hard for them to let go. Right under that, healing family issues with finances and career. I'm telling you, like baby mama, baby daddy, some kind of bullshit ass energy that wants to hold on to somebody because of money. And it has somebody very, very worried. Like they're going to be broke. They're not going to be able to have enough to offer to you. It kind of like they feel like they're not going to be enough because of the bullshit that this other person might be draining them from. But you know what the thing is? You you still extend your lighthearted energy from to them. You love them regardless. Like this is beautiful. Free yourself at the bottom again even though I done shuffled them. Like no matter what, y'all are freeing yourself from these karmic bonds from the past, man. Look, if it wants to come out, it will. It's calling in your soulmate. Your prayers have been answered. It's time for you and this person to get away from everything. Enjoy some time alone, okay? Because spirit is about to bless you. Codependency on the bottom. I'm telling you, there's somebody that was codependent because somebody was in this connection not wanting to let it go. Let's see. But look, divine timing. It's at work. This is faded. This connection is faded. No matter what it happened in the past, nothing can get in the way. Of this connection. Let's see. For my Aquarius for February. Man. Okay, y'all. Energy is scattered. There's a lot of anxiety. A lot of worry here. Ease that pain. Ease that pain, my love. <laughs> I almost said ease that pain, sis. But I know I got some, some brothers out there. So, let's see. Let's see. Aquarius for February, spirit. Accurate story. Let me get an accurate reading for my... Aquarius spirit. Okay, secrets. All right. So you might not even know that this person is even still dealing with this person from the past. This person might not even be telling you that they have, um, That they have somebody from their past 
that won't let them go. And I'm not talking about sexually. I'm, okay, I'm not talking about sexually involved. I'm talking about just somebody that won't let them go. I feel like this person might be worried that they're going to lose you if they tell you like they got this person that is always bleeding them drive money and won't leave them the fuck alone. I feel like they're scared that you won't trust them or you won't believe them, right? And that's why they're worried. But I feel like with this Knight of Wands coming up in reverse, I don't feel like this person is a player, right? I'm just not getting that. I feel like this person can be quite arrogant at times. They can be um, jealous, okay? Somebody here can be very, very jealous, but then this could also be the person that they're that they're not telling you about. Why? Because this person that they're that um, this past person could be reckless, okay, uh, abusive, all right, they could be hot-tempered, they might try to come fight you, I feel like, a very, very jealous, very, very reckless energy, okay, with that Knight of Wands in reverse, and they're, they, they're trying to keep that person from you, I feel like, because they don't want this person to start any drama within your connection, okay, we have the fool in reverse, and that's me saying that this person does not want to take any risks when it comes to you. They do not want to risk this connection, okay? They feel like if, the, if, if either they tell you about this person, or even if you know about this person, they feel like this person is going to cause a lot of drama within your connection, and they don't want to risk, they do not want to risk losing you because of a past person that is trying to cause shit. I feel like this person might, you know, like is really crazy, like crazy, like the type to sneak up and like put a, a Twix bar in your tank while you're asleep type shit. Like this person like to come to your job and fight you on the job because they can't find you anywhere else. That's the energy I'm seeing with whatever. If this is your situation now, Aquarius, but that's what I'm seeing. And this person does not want to risk your connection, but I feel like they are going to have to be honest, right, yeah, see, they're trying to manifest, um, this to come out, because at the end of the day, they're not doing anything wrong, Aquarius, there's no player energy here with that being in reverse, I feel like this is more them scared to tell you, uh, you know, they're, they're scared to lose you, don't nobody want somebody that somebody else is attached to, you know? And that's why they're scared to lose you. Yeah, I split the deck and look. To, to shuffle them, you got the three of swords. This is definitely a third-party situation. There's definitely three people here, okay? And somebody is going to be heartbroken here, okay? But I don't feel like they're actually, I feel like there's three people involved, but I don't feel like this is actually a third party situation where they're having sex with this person. I feel like they might be trying to save some heartbreak, okay, maybe because there's some kids involved with this person, but they don't want to risk losing you, period. This person, I'm telling you, could be just like a crazy ass person. That's like whenever they tried to separate from this person, they've ruined other connections before. And so now this person is scared. They don't want this person to come in between you guys with connections. Let's see. Aquarius for February. Aquarius for February. Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. Oh my gosh, spirit come through, look, fucking A, yeah, this is, they're dealing with a fucking karmic ass, codependent ass energy that is not going to let them go, they don't want to let them go, okay, they do not want to take this risk, and risk and lose you behind this devil, this person is holding on to them for financial reason. This person is holding on to them. They do not want to let them go. This is a karmic. This is somebody that is very, very toxic with that devil being there. A very, very toxic person. Very jealous. You see, for some reason I never noticed that. But you see how the boy is on fire and the girl's looking scared? That's like, she's over here like, bitch, I'll kill you. I'll fuck you up setting his shit on fire, you know, you, maybe that's happened in the past, you know, this person is fucking crazy as hell, 
they don't want to bring you into that drama. Why? Because you're their peace, right? You're their happiness. Ooh, what kind of shit? I feel bad for your person if they are dealing with an energy like this, okay? You might even know about this person already, Aquarius. And this person is scared that if they completely detach, this person is going to bring drama to you. Let's see. Let's see. February? February. Yeah, see, but this person is fucking done. This person is done with this karmic energy. This karmic probably done did so much dumb ass bullshit in the past over and over. They are done. Why? Because they have found their soulmate, okay? This, this devil energy, that's done. That's over with. But see, this devil energy... Is going to do whatever it takes to keep this soulmate energy from coming together, from being together. You know, the reason why is because this devil knows that if you guys solidify your connection, it's over for them. It's over for them because you can't compete with this kind of connection right here. Yeah, see... You're the queen of wands to this person. You're passionate. You're beautiful. You're on your shit. This person, you light the fire under this person. Yep. See this person? It, oh my gosh, spirit. If it wants to come out, look, it's going to come out. This person is turning their back to this third party, to this other person, to the heartbreak of the past. Look at them. They're turning their back. They're taking their cup. They've been through a lot of shit. They look sad as hell, right? But this is them following their heart. They know what they want, okay? This is them coming in to sweep you off your feet. This is a gentleman. They love you. They want to give you a romantic offer, okay? Regardless of what is in the past. They're, they're turning their back to that completely. Yeah, they want to be this stable husband with you. They want this Ten of Cups. And that's even just bringing families together, you know, if you have kids alone. But they want to be this good, stable husband. This person can be selfish at times, okay, with that King of Pentacles there. A little bit arrogant, but at the same time, this person knows that you are what will bring them their happiness. They want the white picket fence. They want you right because they're realizing that you are their divine counterpart you are their person a, a, a karmic a devil can't compete with the divine what the fuck we got forces on our side that you cannot fuck with right oh my gosh this is so beautiful look right under that we have the ace of wands and the ace of cups not only is this a passionate beginning this is a passionate, loving beginning. Their cup is overflowing with love for you. And I feel like you feel the same, Aquarius. You do. And this is going to bring a passionate beginning. I think them walking away and really putting their foot down to this person, I think they got to let go of those worries, let go of what they're scared of, and really, um, yeah, come out of this confusion that they're in with these different options, okay? And, yeah, see, they're indefinite mental um they're they're constantly thinking about this it's but it's all in their head they're scared that if they get they're oh doing all the overthinking well if i leave this person alone blah, 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 they're gonna do this they're gonna do that they're gonna do that i gotta make them see they're very very confused right but it's all in their head with that eight of swords this is all in their head so they they need to heal they peeled from that they've rested they've been doing a lot of thinking aquarius and now they know what they want they're ready to give this equal good and give and take they're ready to have a balanced connection for once in their life with you with this page of wands they admire you okay they watch you they love you and they want to give you some kind of romantic proposal come february we got the the king of wands wasn't the queen of wands out here she was at the bottom, wasn't she? She, see, definite divine counterparts. This person loves you. They're ready to stand up for themselves and do what's right, okay? Take a stand against whatever this karmic energy is to work on you. Oh my gosh, right under that. There she is. There's that other person. They don't want this. They, they're, they, they see this person ready to focus on you. All these options behind them, they want to just focus on you. They want to build and grow with you. And look at this. This queen of swords, she don't want that shit to happen. She is in denial that this person can even move on from them. Jealous? Yeah. 
looks like for the way she's holding her hand, I'm just, th I heard balls in her hand. Like, she got their, them by the balls, you know? This person, I feel like, knows that she got them, or he got them by, got this person by the balls. But the fact of the matter is, that that's coming to an end. This person in February, shit, that's over with. You can't, this person is clearing their energy. All right, Aquarius? All right, that's your reading. If it resonates, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, my loves, peace.